what I want to do now is change the color of the hair. So I duplicated the background and I called the layer hair strands, for example. Now let's see how we can first of all change the color and then how we can just have the hair in this layer. To change the color, I would select my brush, first of all. It needs to be a soft brush like these. Although I can use other types of brushes, as I'm going to show you a bit later. But for now, a soft brush, and I increase the size. If I paint with normal mode, I would hide the hair altogether, the hair that I have. So I have to set my blending mode to color. This will only change the color, but keep the texture. All right? But again, here it's too strong, so I have to reduce the opacity. All right, so um, why do I also reduce the opacity? Because sometimes, let's say 10, if I go with one strand like this, okay, first of all, it looks natural because it's not too strong. But I can go a th second time to make it stronger in different places, right? So I can go here and just go like that. All right, so uh, let's try to make her blonde, blondish. Okay, so always start with low opacity because that would give you the possibility to change a bit later. All right, and you have to vary the color once in a while just so that you don't have always the same and maybe desaturate. Desaturate means go like this towards gray. All right, so I'll keep going until I'm done and happy with what I have. Now, um, I want to hide everything but the hair in this layer so that I don't see anything else. Again, I'm going to use the same technique. So here, I'm going to... Uh, make a selection, any selection, let's say a selection like this, right? So that I know what I have. And then I'm going to go to my quick mask mode, which is what we explained last time. So remember, if I paint in white, I'd be adding to my selection. But here, I have to set the opacity to 100. If I paint in white, I would be adding to my selection. So there, this is how I'd be selecting the hair so that if I, changed, if I do change the color with hue saturation, for example, it wouldn't affect the face. So here I'm pressing X to invert the colors again and X again. And remember that I'm using a very soft brush. All right. For the very dark areas, I don't need really to select them because they are, they are going to stay black anyway. So I don't have to really worry about this. The more precise I am, the better it's going to be my final result. So here I press X to remove those selected pixels from the background. All right, so I have the hair selected, which is a good thing. I click back on my normal selection mode, and whatever I do now, maybe here I selected something uh, extra by mistake. Whatever I do now, let's say uh, image adjustment, and this time I'm gonna choose color balance. Color balance would let you add amounts of yellow or gray or uh, blue or red or whatever. So here, let's go like this to make her yeah, we're just uh, testing things out. It's not going to happen to her in reality. So let's say like this. All right, I'll press OK. Press Control Z repeatedly to see what I have. OK, there's too much red in here, so I have to reduce the red. So again, I'll choose Image Adjustment and Coral Balance again. And there's the red, which I will um, decrease, and maybe decrease the green also and push her more, more towards yellow. Then, 
I would uh, press Control U to desaturate a little bit and change the hue and then Control um, M for curves which is image adjustment curves because that would enable me to brighten things up a little bit and there I'm starting to get a nice blondish look for her and to compare I would go like this because you see it's just the hair that's being changed because it's on a separate layer let's try another control M which is the curves who is blonde here all right um, yeah all of the hair because I'm doing this on the whole layer um, actually I forgot to add the layer mask which I should have but it's all right for now and uh, maybe let's try one more hue saturation desaturate a little bit okay so it's it's not bad it is natural let's try to increase the contrast image adjustment brightness contrast yeah and one more hue saturation to desaturate and I'm pretty happy with the result so um, that's her with blonde hair okay I forgot to add the layer mask that's why the the uh, face is brightening up so make sure that you do add the layer mask before you apply any changes but that's how you would change your color to blonde